Well, good morning from Calgary International Airport. I am back two days <laughs> to the airport after just landing back in Canada from Japan, from my 10 months of travel. And today I am actually off to an area of Canada that I have never been to uh, before. I am off to Quebec City today. And it's especially super cool because I'm actually going on a PR trip with Chevrolet for their new Chevrolet Trax release. They are very kindly flying me out there and have a really cool itinerary all planned. So I think it's going to be super exciting to check all of that out and be in such a beautiful region of Canada. I've actually only been to Quebec once, like to Montreal about five or six years ago. I haven't been anywhere else in the province. For those of you that don't know, this is the region of Canada where they primarily speak French. I unfortunately do not speak French, so we will see <laughs> how I will get along with, you know, the slight language barrier, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, good morning from Quebec City. I am here at Hotel Pure, which is a super lovely hotel here in the downtown part of the city. I already had breakfast at the downstairs restaurant that they have here. It was super good. And now I'm about to go down for the main presentation, uh, telling us all about the new Chevrolet tracks. And then from there, I guess I'm going to get partnered with another creator. And together we are going to take the Chevrolet tracks to a few different uh, interest points here in the city and then make our way to the countryside. But I will say I'm a little bit nervous because it has been quite a while since I have regularly driven a car. Like when I lived in Saskatchewan, I would drive every day, but living in Toronto and traveling all the time, I haven't driven in quite a while, <laughs> but it should be fine. Like the traffic here isn't that crazy. And I am actually quite interested to see what it is like to drive this vehicle. So I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> So I was very excited to get invited on this brand trip because Chevrolet is a car brand that is very popular in Canada, but that I actually haven't had a chance to ever drive yet. I actually really enjoyed the presentation and found it interesting because this is kind of the style of car that I prefer to drive. So the all new Chevrolet Trax is a really cool fusion of the practicality of a sedan, but also has the versatility of an SUV. The Trax is of course loaded with many safety features like rear vision cameras, adaptive cruise control, side blind zone alert, and many more. And what's even better is that I feel like the 2024 Trax starts at a very reasonable price of around $24,500 and the entire lineup is under $31,000. Alright guys, we are officially in the Old Town and I'm here with Emily. Hi! I'm going to link Emily's channel in the description so you guys can check out her stuff. But we are partnered today to do this road map yeah. <laughs> of Quebec City. And uh, the first place that we're here is the Wolf Montcalm Monument. And it is the oldest monument in Quebec. It's supposed to be a beautiful viewpoint. Sadly, it is kind of raining mm -hmm. right now. So we're going to go out with umbrellas, give you guys a great view. But I will be doing another vlog from Quebec City and hopefully it won't be raining so I'll show you guys that in a future vlog. Welcome to the old town of Quebec City friends. 
This is a beautiful historic area that has fortified city walls and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Quebec City has a population of about 800,000 people and it sits right on the St. Lawrence River. Quebec City is also the capital of Quebec province but is the second largest city after Montreal. This city is especially known for its beautiful old town with the stone buildings, cobblestone streets, really lovely restaurants, and some great shopping. Unfortunately, the rain did make it a little tricky to be exploring by foot, so keep in mind I will have a whole city guide video coming up next for Quebec City, so if you're looking for suggestions of things to see and do that is more in-depth, make sure you stay tuned for that. Instead, we decided to head to our next destination, which is actually an island, Ile de Orleans, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that is just beside the old town. It's connected by a bridge. And there we had a stop at a really lovely chocolate shop. Now this chocolate shop was on another level. Not only did they have so many different varieties, but everything here is homemade. They also had a place where you could get hot chocolate and ice cream. So I basically tried everything and it was so good. All right, guys, haven't driven in a while, but we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> Are you excited? I am excited. This is already, I feel like it's going to be a smooth ride, you know? Yeah, it is. It's really easy to drive. Oh yeah, this is, this is very nice. Now we're in this super cute little island town here as well. Can you say it in French? Let's see, it's called Ile de Orleans. I probably butchered that. Yeah, Orléans. Oh, say it again. Orléans. Orléans. Yeah. Orléans. Orléans. But it's it's Orleans, like yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Super beautiful, like really lush and kind of rolling hills. So nice. Next, we headed to an area called Charlevoix, which is a very popular tourist destination in Quebec for nature lovers. The area was actually struck by a meteorite about 350 million years ago, and it created a very unique landscape with forests, mountains, and of course the St. Lawrence River. Charlevoix has a lot of lovely small towns with bed and breakfast that you can stop in, but it also has some exceptional eco-resorts like the one that we were booked to stay in called Rapier Boreal. I swear guys, sometimes I feel like my life is a fairy tale because look how amazing this place is and what's even more perfect is i got cabin number three which is my lucky number as some of you may know i mention it all the time and look how cute this is floor to ceiling windows of the amazing nature of this area and because tomorrow we all have different events going on the one that i chose is their wellness package so they put a really nice fluffy robe here because i'm going to be doing yoga in the morning as well as a massage but before we go upstairs i realized that i didn't show the kitchen which is very nice and then over here is the washroom also really lovely and then we can go up to the second level that has the bed. How nice is this? So cozy <laughs> and you still get the epic floor to ceiling views that you had in the living room. Over here though is another exit that will take you all the way to the rooftop of the chalet. And from here, I feel like it would be the absolute perfect place to have breakfast in the midst of the woods. This is just so special. I have no words. I am so grateful to Chevrolet for inviting me on this trip. This is amazing. Right now we have about two hours to do our own thing. And around six, we're all gonna meet in the 
communal space to have a lovely dinner and that will be the end of our first epic day here in Quebec. So if you guys get the chance, I would definitely recommend checking out Repair Boreal. It is a family-run business that specializes in ecotourism and also utilizing local vendors whenever they can. That evening they created an absolutely amazing dinner for us using all local ingredients. The Charlevoix region is actually very well known for their amazing food scene where great cheese, meat and produce is all coming from the local businesses in the area. Well good morning. I feel so cozy in the lovely robe that they gave us and I am going to take a brief two minute walk to the main building here in Rapier Boreal because this morning I am part of the wellness group that is going to do a yoga class, full body massage, and apparently they also have hot tubs here at this hotel. So it's going to be a fabulous morning. Some of the other people in the group are going to be doing a food tour because this region is really known for, you know, local produce. They're going to be visiting some local beekeepers. And then the other group is going to do a local pottery class. So while all of those things sound fantastic, I am glad that I will be getting a massage this morning. And what a lovely morning it was. I think there is nothing better than starting each day with a yoga class. We had a fantastic fantastic local teacher who came in and taught us for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour. And after all that hard work, I had my massage with Elise, who has the hands of God. I swear she did such a good job. I haven't had a massage like that in quite some time. So if you guys are staying at Repair Boreal, definitely ask to book her because she did an amazing job. Next, I headed to their Nordic Spa, which is super impressive, having a whole bunch of hot tubs, saunas, and plunge pools. You're supposed to rotate in between the three to get the full effect, but it is super relaxing. Oh my god, you guys, do you see this? It is snowing! It is the end of May right now, and it is snowing! Welcome to Canada! And that is it, my friends. Uh, that was our time at Rapier Boreal. From there, we drove uh, down to a lovely local Italian restaurant for a final lunch with the team. Obviously, full disclosure, I was not paid to go on this trip, but all of my expenses for this portion of the trip were covered. Obviously, I did give a shout out to the tracks, but that is because I genuinely think it is a super cool car and would recommend you guys check it out. So thank you so much to Chevrolet for inviting me. I had a fabulous time. As I mentioned before, I will have a full video about Quebec City coming up. That will probably be the next video where I go much more in depth about all the things to see and do in the city. And after that, I actually ended up taking the train down to Montreal as well. So if you guys are interested in more Quebec content, stay tuned. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. Hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.